Blood donors play such a vital role for patients who require a transfusion, but lately circumstances have dealt a blow to those patients who count on that gift of life. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is live in Pittston Township tonight to explain. Hi, Mark. Miller Keystone Blood Center had to close blood centers like this one both Monday and Tuesday because of this week's snowstorm. The weather is just the latest blow to this major supplier of blood products to several local hospitals. Empty blood donor beds have become an all too familiar sight at Miller Keystone Blood Center. While it's not uncommon for donations to run low a month after the holiday season, the situation is made more serious by the ongoing pandemic and the latest snowstorm. It's really, really become very challenging this week to the point that inventory is at a critical level. Miller Keystone's multiple blood collection centers are counted on for 450 units of donated blood each day. We canceled probably close to 10 blood drives in our local community, which is a loss of several hundred units. Blood, which hospitals like Lehigh Valley Health Network, St. Luke's, and Geisinger rely on for patients dealing with cancer, trauma, and elective surgeries who require transfusions. We've been very proactive in managing our inventories within our hospitals using blood as judiciously as possible. He says conservative transfusion practices are put in place as long as good patient outcomes can be achieved. And it helps mitigate the impact of shortages in these crises. What's troubling to hospitals and blood collection centers is what happens if a mass casualty incident occurs when there's just not enough donated blood on reserve? Inventory is going to be tight. Inventory is tight. Now, because of those canceled blood drives, Miller Keystone is holding an emergency one tomorrow outside Geisinger CMC in Scranton from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Head to pahomepage.com to learn more about that. With the Help Beat Live in Pittston Township, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.